Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection needs to be avoided at all costs. This is one of the worst game launches in recent memory, and I'm incredibly disappointed. I'm literally making the video today to warn my viewers to stay away from purchasing this game, at least until they update it or fix it, and even then, who knows, okay? We've been excited to play Battlefront Classic Collection. We've talked about it on the channel. I won't even buy the game to get footage. I know everybody is refunding it right now on Steam, and I just have to say, wow. How does this keep happening? So for, to recap, okay, 10,000 people were trying to play on launch night on Steam. The game only had three servers, 64 slot servers at the time of launch. 200 players out of those 10,000 could play. They started to add some more servers in. And guess what? Multiplayer is a disaster. Hit detection doesn't work. Non-existent movement tech, right? You're going to teleport all over the map. It's just broken. It is a straight up broken game, all for the price tag of 35 US dollars. And what I'm even more frustrated about is there were a bunch of content creators who got to review the game early. Guess what? That footage was all offline. It was all LAN based footage. So you didn't have to bother with this broken net code. I'm telling you, Aspire knew exactly what they were doing when they launched the game with just three server slots. They didn't want everybody to flood in and the negative reviews to destroy the initial momentum that they were going to have. Same thing with the offline review footage from the early access content creation stuff. Huge disappointment, and I'm just I'm tired of these cash grabs, man. This is one of those things where I imagine if you would have sourced this to community members, they could have actually launched something far, far better. But no, here we are, 2024, 10 years after Halo MCC, and these kind of experiences and launches are still happening. And I really, I straight up just feel for the people who are on platforms like the Switch or the PlayStation, Xbox, if you guys bought a physical copy, I don't even know if there's physicals for this, it could be just a digital, but those platforms are much more challenging to get a refund on than on Steam. So I'm going to recommend you guys check out Kevin Coolax's video. It's going to be out later today. He actually got the chance to play it. He refunded the game, but he'll give you a little bit more of the impressions. I've just been looking around this morning. I was going to pick up the game tonight after work and uh, record and put together a video. But honestly, can't do it. If you're looking for a fun Battlefront style game, no, it's not the classic games, but you can get Battlefront 2 for like six or seven dollars right now in the US because EA is having their spring game sale until the end of March. I've been going back and playing Battlefront 2 2017 quite a bit here the last few weeks. It's been a ton of fun. A lot of new players over on that side of things. But when it comes to the classic collection, I just, I don't get it. Super don't get it. They changed some of the sound effects. Some of the cutscenes are just straight up missing. And I, I just, I don't know. I'm incredibly disappointed here. If any of you picked up the game, please let me know what you think of it. I also <laughs> found out that the tickets for a 64 player server, I think the ticket default is like 100 tickets. Matches are lasting two to three minutes. Not that it really matters because that hit detection is just awful. It's unplayable. But I'm over this launch it broken, fix it later garbage. And this is one of those games where I played Battlefront 2 at a friend's house a bunch growing up. Really cool game, but never got to experience it in the online space. So I don't know. I don't know what you can do other than just stay away for now. And I, I don't think anything's going to change with the industry. They're probably going to get all the sales that they need initially to make this whole project profitable and go, hey, great, we did it. While they burn all the goodwill in the process. So. I never like making the negative videos, but this one is very much a warning. Stay away from the classic collection for now. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you again very soon.